the moment we've all been waiting for. It's it's finally happening. What time is it? It's 926 guys. I'm with Cole. Cole picked me up at like 830, right? No. Yeah, 840. And we've been talking about this throughout the series of vlogs. We are taking cars. Cole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's early. It's early. We are finally taking Cole's car to get done. We're gonna go to Home Depot right now. We gotta pick up a truck. Gotta go to U-Haul, pick up a trailer. And then uh, we're gonna go to Raw Power Motor Works. This 4Runner is loaded with E30 race car parts, literally. He's stoked. He's been waiting for this for, you know, a long time now. And uh, I couldn't be more excited. I'm just so ready to see this thing finished, but it's gonna be cool. I'm sure we'll go to the shop and like see progression of it while it's getting worked on and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. If I had to say the car is going to be like done though, like I honestly don't know. Maybe two. I don't know how long cryo treatment takes. Cryo treatment, yeah. What they're going to do to is what is it? Your whole block or the whole engine? The whole engine. They take the whole. Oh, well, I guess you should explain them more. So right? they're taking I'm... like a whole engine, and I don't know it too well, but I'm pretty sure they're just going to put it in a massive freezer and freeze it to like negative some crazy number, and it just does something with the metal molecules and it makes it way stronger. Yeah, it's, it, I think I heard something like strengthens the motor, the whole engine up to like 30%, which is uh, it's pretty crazy to think about. You freeze a motor or freeze an engine and it just, you know, strengthens up. That's, that's nuts. Very, very big science behind that. But regardless, what that's going to do, because he has forged parts, pretty much forged everything you could get for these motors, um, he's going to be rated for like probably like 1,000 to like 1,200 horse. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. <laughs> Find out. I know his pistons are rated for a thousand horsepower. His, I mean, his uh, yeah, his pistons, rods right? and pistons. Yeah, pistons and rods. And then with, they're getting cryo treated. <laughs> with everything getting cryo treated, he should probably be rated for like 1,200 horsepower, which is going to be nuts. He's not going to be pushing that in the very beginning. He was probably going to be realistically five or six in the beginning. Yeah, like five or six, which is, I mean, that's mental to think about in an E30. An E30 only weighs about 400 pounds more than a Miata. So power to weight is going to be just. <laughs> Or like, oh, just Scary. dumb. It's just gonna be silly. Hey! I think like, that saves lives, but that what? no, it doesn't. We can't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, we did just pull up to U-Haul. We're picking up the trailer. Gonna go pick up a truck. But uh, yeah, super crazy build on the way. A lot of content to come, guys. So just be hyped up for this because this is about to be nuts. So this is what we're dealing with. Fast forward, we got the truck from Home Depot. He's changing this thing in the middle of the road so that we can put that. So he's putting on right there over here to this truck then we're going back to his house we're going to pick up the e30 and we're finally on our way all right guys so we're here at raw power motor works we finally have the car here we went through a big mess it was a longer day than we expected but it was that, painful in many ways in many ways you know but that's what's expected for car stuff you guys know the deal you guys are car people you understand um we'll talk about it later but as it sits the e30 is finally in the shop we did want to get before this motor so that you guys could see what we're working with this is going to be entirely different but we're going to show you guys how many parts this dude has so let's see guys okay he gutted his whole interior you guys can see that he has his turbo, pistons, rods, crank, I mean everything. You guys can see here, he has a whole car full of parts ready to go into that motor. That whole box, it's really, really big. There's a lot of crap in it. I was talking to Jacob. I think he's like the head mechanic here. Jacob built an E30. Pretty much he said, like, you know, as cheap as he could go, he made 500 wheel. Cole spent more, more than he probably wanted to on this motor. He's building the stock M20 motor, for those of you who know BMW motors, those of you who don't, uh, one of the best inline six motors ever built. It's a pretty pricey motor to build. Aside from the fact that it's a BMW, it's just a pretty, pretty expensive motor to build. And he spent some money on some solid, solid race parts. When I tell you guys serious numbers, like 750, 800 horsepower, like I'm not joking. Like this car is gonna be nuts when it's fully dialed in, when it's fully ready. Uh, it's, 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 the journey begins, guys. All right, we're saying happy birthday to Brandon. This guy has a massive squad out for this cruise. He's pretty stoked on it. Anyways, we're gonna sing happy birthday, right? Yes. Okay, where is he? Where'd he go? He's right there. Oh shit, you're, why are you hiding, bro? This is your thing. This is your thing. All right. I'm alive, bro. You all ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Brandon. Happy birthday to you. 
We're on our way to Ortega Highway. We're gonna go rip her up and have some fun, guys. Holy shit. There's a cop literally sitting right there. That is so sketchy. Yeah. Dude, that cop though. The cop, right? Yeah. Dude, oh my god, that was so sketch, bro. Oh shit, dude. We're gonna hit the freeway, guys. So we made it to the top. Everybody got stuck behind this Yukon. Me and Richard took off around the Yukon because there is a legal passing lane. It's a two-way road. And so we took off past this guy, but everybody else got kind of stuck behind him. We did end up going all the way to the bottom and these guys came to the top of the lookout. So we had to mob back up, but this is the turnout guys. Look at, it's not too bad. There's a lot of heads up here. And uh, my clutch is like officially like toasted. It's done. It was making some gnarly noise when we were coming up and uh, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta get this thing home and just stop driving it until I could get the clutch because it, it's bad. It was getting real hot and it was slipping. And luckily, I was able to use some momentum-based driving. Oh my god, that guy's going way too fast for that little fucking thing. <laughs> Fuck that. I think we're about to head back down. Hold on, look at this guy. Happy birthday, Brandon, when you watch this, buddy. See, like, if you do watch this, uh, thank you for inviting us. It was a lot of fun, man. And uh, like, I guess we we'll right see now, you guys back down. No All right, so we ended up taking off after we got back to the bottom. It was really late. I was really tired. Everybody was tired, so we all split up. I didn't want to vlog the outro on the drive home because uh, that's just silly and I shouldn't be doing that anyway. So I did want to say this. Again, happy birthday, Brandon. Uh, that was really, really fun. and. Uh, I enjoyed the whole cruise, man. It was it was really, really cool to get together for that. On top of that, this E30, you guys, trust me, be ready for it. We're gonna get progression on that thing though, okay? We're going to head to the shop soon. I'm gonna bug Cole about it and uh, go check on the car and see where it's at, see the stages of it, and uh, it's gonna be a wild build. As far as me and myself, guys, my car is kind of, it's kind of pooped right now. I'll be honest. I have to get a clutch. As I was talking about earlier in the video, Dude, my clutch is gone. It's toasted. I can't drive that thing. I have to get a full oil change soon. I have to do trans mounts, motor mounts. I have to get my water pump line serviced. Apparently there's a problem with that is what Precision Dynamics was telling me. There's just a lot of things that I have to do to this car right now before I can start doing anything crazy. But a single turbo or twin turbo build is in the future. Genuinely, you guys, I need your help with that. I need to know what do you guys want to see? I want some, some feedback in the comments. Let me know what you guys want to see in this N54, this little 135i. Uh, because personally, I mean, I, I I don't have a preference. I, I think single turbo builds are crazy. I think they're insane. Um, I've never had a single turbo car, so I would love to go single turbo. But on top of that, twin turbos are faster. Uh, everybody knows that. Obviously, you can make more power on a single turbo and, uh, you know, you could do a lot more things with a single turbo build. But twins do spool quicker and there's not like a huge power difference between twins and singles if you go with the right parts so you guys please i really need your feedback let me know what you guys want to see in this car um, i'm a little bit of ways away i am working on a lot of things you guys and i am super excited for the way this channel is about to go with this new schedule i'm supposed to go see stradman i'm supposed to go with my buddy will will is the man he, he i helped him win some turbos a while back for his uh, mustang he ended up having to give the turbos away because uh, it just, it ended up being way more costly than we were both expecting. It's okay though, his car is pro-charged now. The thing is a beast. We were waiting for him to get his car finished so that we can go to Utah so he could race the Burlack or he could race the Stradman or whatever, the, whatever we're gonna do out there. But just be prepared for good content to come, you guys. I'm, I couldn't be more excited for this. I might even go see these guys, 8080. These guys are the best and uh, 
you know, we might meet some of the guys out there. So I don't know. But I will say this. Utah is in the future, you guys. You should be ready for it because this is going to be huge. It's going to be a game changer for the channel, for Will's channel. I'm really excited for all of it. So stay tuned, you guys. As always, if you did enjoy the video, don't hesitate to like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications if you haven't already. And as always, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Later.